Here's an update about COVID-19 in the UK. Despite the progress made with vaccination, more than 800 people are still dying every week from COVID-19. There's been a significant rise in cases amongst those aged 65 and over, which is particularly concerning since these are the most vulnerable to hospitalisation and death. Nearly one in five of critically ill COVID patients are unvaccinated pregnant women. Long-term damage to lungs, heart, kidneys and brain has been documented even following mild infections. Meanwhile, the very high rate of infection in the 10 to 14 year old age group shows no sign of diminishing yet. One in 14 of our adolescents is currently affected and more than 50,000 children are living with long COVID. The Health Secretary has expressed concern about the 6,000 people being referred every week to long COVID clinics. One in 10 of the people being referred are NHS staff. Despite all of this, there is no longer any requirement on the public to distance or wear masks. And unfortunately, those who do take precautions are often doing the wrong thing. For some time now, the science has been clear. COVID is airborne. The tiny aerosol particles containing the virus float in the air and can travel long distances. This means that you are still at risk even after an infected person has left a room. Surgical masks mostly don't fit well enough to stop aerosol particles getting through gaps around the edge. Wearing a tightly fitting cloth mask on top of a surgical mask to improve fit will make your masking much more effective. A cloth mask on its own is not enough to stop the virus now that the Delta variant is dominant. So many people seem to think that using hand sanitizers means they are COVID secure but hand hygiene has little effect if you're breathing the virus in. Improving ventilation by opening windows or using HEPA filtration are much more effective mitigations. The pandemic is not over. Stay safe.